Um, one is that I have, I have a, a routine that's like up to an hour of just basic technical stuff. And there's actually an app that I've been using called Modacity. Okay. You know, just yeah, I've heard of it. Not a paid advertisement. It's just something one day I was like, I need help. I need help staying on track. Right, right, right. <laughs> Please, I've always needed that, but when my day had more uh, structural timelines to it, then I knew that I could, you know, force myself to do something. But um, but the app is just you can you can set up your own daily practice routines and stuff. And what's good about it is that when you're done one thing, you kind of give yourself a thumbs up or whatever, and then it goes immediately to the next exercise. Mm. I think one of the things that I follow helps that makes me fall by the wayside is doing an exercise. And then just taking a minute to get a glass of water, like flip on my phone, and then half an hour's gone by, and I go back. Right, those interruptions into your practice, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so I've been so using that app a little bit to kind of keep me on track, and and also just yeah, I, I mean it's still a routine. As long as you if you get into the shed, <laughs> even if it's just for five minutes, chances are if you talk yourself into going for five minutes it'll end up being 15 minutes or maybe longer. <laughs> so, right, it's just the actual starting that's the hardest part. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So for anybody, that, that continues. I mean, I, I still definitely struggle with that too. And leave your horn out of the case where you can see it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you're saying set basically allow the practice space or, or your instrument to be readily accessible. Because if that's, the easier that is to just pick up and play, that'll remove any barrier. Yes. Great, great suggestions. I mean, uh, you know, one thing you you pointed out that I think is really important is that you're right. If there is no, if there are no gigs, if there are no live events, then what's the point? And I think that maybe that kind of gets to, and for all of us, helps us kind of think a little deeper than we're usually used to when there's always a gig. Which is why am I doing what am I doing? What I'm doing? And also, when there is no one telling you or no reason to do it, do you still love to do it? Yeah. And we kind of hope, I mean, this would be, this is an interesting time to maybe it will separate those people, you know, in a sense, like the, the true players who play for the, just the true enjoyment of playing, no matter whether there's a gig or not, you know. And the enjoyment or the idea of discipline as a practice, you know, I love, again, trumpet, I, I joke about it being a merciless instrument, but I'm so grateful to it because it keeps me honest. It keeps me on a schedule. It keeps me, uh, you know, like I has, I have their regimented things that I need to do on a daily basis, and that just keeps me in line <laughs> with the things that. Right, it's a healthy regimen as opposed to one that, if without it, it, you would just go about all these other things that might be, you know, not lead to anywhere you actually want to go. Yeah. So, and and again, I think some of the collaborations with people that inspire me, or finding songs that challenge, you know, definitely finding setting your own challenges, setting your own goals is a is a big part of it right now. You know, ultimately, I really feel like, you know, you, you are the best teacher of yourself, mm -hmm. as long as you're being honest with yourself about what your weaknesses are and how to address them, you know, you should be able to find exercises or create exercises that challenge those. Well, how do you, that's a great point. I mean, you're right, we know ourselves best, but how do you, I think what comes with that though, is that the person has to be aware of, of themselves. And I think a lot of times it's like that self-awareness is lacking or just the practice of analyzing oneself so how did you come up with a process of of analyzing yourself do you what are some suggestions if someone's like well i don't know what i need to do best how do how do you figure that out you know yeah you're Bria, but how do i figure that out because we have young audience members like was there something that you point to that helps you start to think that go through that process yeah that's and that's a great point of course i didn't always think this way <laughs> no no i just something maybe for survival that i've also figured out so yeah <laughs> You know what has helped me for, um, I mean, my biggest struggles are technical. Uh, you know, I think music, I love to play music. I love to just, you know, play through, but just getting the facility on the instrument enough to access the ideas that I hear in my head and my heart is, mm -hmm. you know, something that we always strive towards. And so I've, um, you know, broken down the technical aspects of playing into basically air embouchure. <laughs> this is going to get really geeky. In there. I love, no, we love it. Let's go. I have a pyramid of air, embouchure, uh, basically tonguing, articulation or flexibilities and dexterity, finger work, and everything. And I, and I think of those very separately about, uh, you know, where the weaknesses are in them and focus on exercises that, uh, that challenge them individually and work with a metronome 
is a very important part of that process. Working with the metronome to be able to track your progress over all of those different areas. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna no, that, that makes sense. I mean, so this this framework, right, is 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 that you come up with. Obviously, like you're saying, is really important to keeping you and, and having that system is how you kind of keep checking in on certain key, met, met, you know, uh, metric like the aspects of your playing, right, that you're, that you're wanting to keep checking in on. But how do you, is that because you're still setting like a longer term goal that's saying like, I want to sound like X, so that, that like these, why, why are those the things that then you're, like you're measuring? To what, sure. X, to what end, yeah. So if I was to take a transcription that I clearly can't play, hmm. I could break down the different aspects of those technical pieces to see what I need to work on. So for example, if there's a note in it that is higher than my range, Mm -hmm. then I know for me that's that's Aaron embouchure. Those are the things that I need to work on or enable to get the range that I need to. Um, perhaps the, the pieces, uh, the articulation needs work and so I slow that down and I'll go through just the articulation of the piece. So I'm also a, a big fan of isometric exercises which mean exercising the, the muscles away from the instrument. So I'll go through a whole solo without the horn on my face with a metronome at a certain speed Going to get my tongue in shape, uh, paying attention to you know necessarily what kind of articulation it is. Also, the same with dexterity of fingers is uh, same thing. Like this is a passage that I clearly can't play. Well, let's take the instrument out of the take the the other the other pieces, the articulation, the embouchure out of the equation, air, and just get the metronome and try to get the combinations down with my fingers up to speed in a way that they're strengthened and then layer those things together. So I think picking pieces obviously that are beyond your playing ability, but then systematically breaking them down into those categories to work on individually and then layer them together. Uh, right, are, so, right, so aim high, and then if there's components, you, you, you break the components down, master them, and slowly build it back up. And then you should, yeah, that, make, that makes total sense. Being very honest with yourself <laughs> about whether or not you're, you know, you're hitting it, if you can't, Put that metronome back. <laughs> you record yourself to pro help do that, or or this is just something you're just constantly listening to yourself, and you just have a healthy, you know, self discipline to say, hey, you're you're messing up, or or hey, you got this, you know. Yeah, I think at this at this point, I I should record myself. That's a very good way to find <laughs> to uh, again call out your own bull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, at this at this point, I'm just like, okay, that's not that's not happening. I know it's not, you know. 